another episode of Simply Sa Simply Sarah. Today on the show, we're going to do a blast from the past. Y'all remember Kmart and their submarine subs? That's what we're going to do today. So they had like a little cafe, like deli thing, and had booths and tables. You could go in there and sit down and get stuff to eat and stuff. So when we would go school shopping, um, we would take a break and, um, get us a sub or something to, something to eat. So, we're going to do, try to do their classic, um, sub here. So, they always did mustard. Now, they didn't make them ahead of time and they were like in a cooler thing, okay? And they're wrapped in plastic wrap. So... They did mustard. Now you could do mayo, but I've only I've only seen them with um, mustard. But it's your sub. You could do what you want. You gotta have some honey ham. Any style, any brand. Back in the day, they used. I'm gonna fold my sauces. They used Oscar Mayer. So we're going to put our ham down. This is four thin sauces. Now don't worry about the recipe. I'm going to have it written down under the video. Scroll down, okay? Maybe five. Okay. And then they did bologna. And they used the beef bologna. And I'm going to sauce it in half so it'll fit on there easy like this. And then they did salami. They always use those salami with the peppercorns in it, the cotta salami. But I couldn't find cotta salami, so I just got salami from the deli. It don't have the peppercorns in it, but that's okay. And then we're going to put our salami. Okay. Now... We go with lettuce, thinly sliced shredded lettuce, because you just pile it all up. Then we go with thinly sliced onion. You could do red onion if you want. This happened to be a sweet onion. And I got a, a produce stand. Now I got some beautiful tomatoes at the produce stand. So normally they would use red tomatoes, but if it's if it's summer and we can get some of the good tomatoes, the heirloom tomatoes, that's what we're going to use. This was Mr. Stripey tomatoes. Okay. Now, we're going to come with some pickles. I usually use pickle chips, but I had these little spears in the refrigerator. So, I just sliced them thinly, and that's what I'm going to use. Alright. You do it however you want. It's your sup. Then they put some banana peppers. That comes in a jar. Your pickled banana peppers. Oh, I forgot my cheese. And they put cheese. And it was always Kraft American cheese. We 
we're going to put our top on now. And then when you got them, they were wrapped up in plastic. So let me show you what you do. And when they're wrapped up in plastic, something magical happens. It like gets the moisture stays, gets your sub still don't dry out and it stays moist and then the flavors mingle and in there. Let me get some plastic wrap. So you can make these ahead of time. That's what they did at Kmart. Usually me and the plastic wrap don't get along, so I'm going to do the best I can. Usually me and plastic wrap don't get along, but we're going to do it. So you'd wrap it up in plastic, and that's how it'd come, wrapped up in plastic, and then you would buy it, sit down at the table, and get you some um, chips or a frozen Coke to go with it, but normally, um, we would get one of these and half it, you, would, you could get halves too, that was wrapped up in plastic wrap. Um, in the little deli cooler, if you didn't want a whole one. And then, it, usually they only made them on certain days, so like, let's see, it was Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And then, if you're at the store in the evening, when it's closing time, they would come back on the, up on the speaker and say, um, Blue Light Special on the submarine subs, half price, and then they would clean out. But they made so many that they had to keep making them and making them. So they were always fresh. And then the next day they would make more. So here's your throwback classic um, submarine sandwich from Kmart. So you, I would always ask for a little plastic knife or they cut it for you. And I'm just going to pretend like. You know, we're at the thingy, we're sitting at the little booth. And there you have it. Kmart submarine subs. I used to call, I grew up calling them submarine subs. That's, we had, in high school, we had a salad bar and you could make your sub too. And that's what they call them, submarine subs. So, um. Some people just call them subs, some people call them hoagies, grinders, whatever you want to call them, okay? And then they would also, in the little, um, you could get other hot stuff, like, instead of cold stuff, you get hot stuff like cheesy broccoli soup. You could get a cup of that. You could get other little things. They started doing hot dogs and fries and um, burgers. And then they would also have big pop, pop, popcorn machines. And it was going constantly popping popcorn. And they put it in big bags tied up. And put some type of thing on it. Or you could get the little bag. It was like, like a brown paper bag, but it was shiny. And you would just ask for a bag of popcorn like that instead of big one. But I always brought a big one home. So that's what we did in the school shopping. I hope y'all had this. <clears throat> if you're a Gen X like me, you'll remember these. The Kmart Delis has been around since 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. I don't even know if there's any more Kmarts around no more. A lot of the stores is closed. So I hope you try this recipe and let me know if it's like what you remember at Kmart Deli. And tell me what 
certain things you got at Kmart Deli that you loved. See you next episode of Something Sarah. Bye, everybody. This is our back-to-school special.